Hey, I'm Chad from FSI, and welcome to the third episode of our Arena Editor series. If you haven't watched our previous episode about buildings, you can watch it here. In the background, you see Jacob painting some buildings that we created in the last episode. What is unique about the painting is that you have many types of materials, and for each, you can specify a texture offset and rotation. Each block can be painted separately. That means floors, walls, and pedestals can have different materials and textures. The buildings you have seen in our trailers were all painted this way. As mentioned in the previous episode, everything will be available in multiplayer. So you can, for example, focus on painting while your friends create buildings, shape terrains, or place vegetation and rocks. We are working on a colorization feature so that you can customize the colors of each material to your liking. That means several color tints per material, which will add a huge variation to the uniqueness of arenas. Later, we will add a fill feature. This would allow an entire floor or wall to get painted with just one click. Apart from painting, we also have all kinds of decals that you can place, rotate, and scale however you like. In the final game, we will have a vast collection of decals for you, and you will be able to specify the colors. The GUI you can see here is not finalized. In the finished game, it will probably look very different. Here, we show more of the cool texture offset and rotation feature. This really gives limitless possibilities and makes sure that every arena is unique. Cool patterns can be created in an almost kaleidoscopic way, and you get like a million variations with just one material. This adds to the uniqueness of arenas. In the final game, there will be more options, but with what we show you here, you can already spice up your arenas quite a bit. Let's check our modifications from a drone's perspective. This time, we show a bit of the ground drone that was featured in the last race gameplay teaser. This drone is powered by hover pads that allow it to traverse across any surface, including water, and can even strafe. It is currently equipped with a power boost and also has a jump thruster installed that allows it to jump. Before I wrap this up, let me quickly show what's up next for the Arena Editor series, Vegetation and Rocks. Okay, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Drone is a community-driven game, and it is important that we reach more people before we can start the crowdfunding campaign. If you want to see Drone become a reality, we need your help with spreading the word. Stay tuned for the next episode. Chad, signing out. I hope to see you in the next one.